Well, good morning. It's uh, it's Friday now. I have to figure out what day of the week it is because we lost a day coming over. So I'm just going to give you a tiny little tour of my, our new place here with uh, Miles' parents for a little bit until we get a place of our own. Here's Miles' car. He went to pick it up yesterday. It was in storage. So we got it's on the to-do list to give that a bit of a clean-up. Miles takes a lot of pride in this pride in his ride. He's really detail orientated so we're gonna get that cleaned up. Anyway, coming inside here. It's a lovely, lovely home. Breaking and entering here. So it's really nice to have the, the tile floor for the opposite reason in Canada because it holds in the cool. So when you come out from the hot outside, the, the, it's very refreshing to step on tiles. Miles' well, desk here, and then this is uh, where we're sleeping. Well, this is the disaster that's going on the list today. The, we had to find a few things in kind of a quick order yesterday, so it looks like the suitcase has kind of exploded, which they did. So that was on the list, and then over here is the sitting room here and the kitchen. It's a very, very lovely home, and it's nice and cool in here, which says a lot. It's got a little bit of Christmas paraphernalia up here. I've got the, uh, I added some little Canadian touches here, but uh, then we've got, uh, so we're going to be, this was the backyard that I went in yesterday to hear the cicadas. I said that they were crickets. They're not actually crickets. They're, they're insect. They're more like a fly, but they sound like crickets when, at some times. So I've got clothes in the washer right now, so I'm going to hang them to dry, which is one of my favorite Australian activities, because I never get to do it in Canada. I know it's weird, but you know how it is. Anyway, I will head up and show you Miles' room here, which has turned into our kind of dressing room. So up the stairs here. So Miles is showering now, I'll spare you that, but it's just right in there. And then this is Miles' room over here. So we've got started to kind of sort my clothes here, and then this is my box from last time I was in Canada, so I gotta go through that and remember what or last time I was in Australia and remember what I've got in there. So there's the suitcases and oh so a lot of stuff on the to-do list today, but uh, you know. Gotta get settled. I gotta buy some toiletries because I'm not gonna have my hair like this for my entire duration of my stay, so. Uh. <laughs> anyway, polish up the resume and start looking for some work too. Feel better once I'm employed. I never, haven't really been unemployed since I was 14, so it's kind of a weird feeling, but I seem to have a bit of money, so that I wouldn't have to rush, but I'm gonna rush anyway. So, I think we're good. Anyway, I'll check in later. Bye. So we're just breaking and entering into the bin that I had saved last time. Oh, oh my hair straightener! Oh. I think I've got a nice jacket in there somewhere too, like a rain slicker. Oh yeah, let's see. Nice. Look at me go. Well prepared now. I know. And my Star Wars figurines and Super Mario stuff that's all essential for living. So, so uh, yeah, I'm good. Work it out. Work it out. Work it in. We're good. And this is my Super Mario chest set. So we're gonna have to break all that stuff out. All my PlayStation games. You know, I was thinking ahead. <laughs> that's a that's a Kleenex box cover. <laughs> Don't you wanna think of Donkey Kong when you blow your nose? Well, I do when I blow my nose. That's right. Miles doesn't know what he's getting into. Anyway, talk to you later. So we're going to head out and do some errands here. Here's, a, here's the ride. It's been in storage. See the cobwebs? So we're going to go get it cleaned up. As well as getting Miles a haircut. Here's a before. Oh man, how do you let yourself go? <laughs> <laughs> and so as you'll notice, I'm sure, Miles is on the other side of the vehicle. And as you'll look at traffic here, they're on the other side of the road. We have no more accidents. Yes. 
one of my uh, my co-workers asked Miles, oh, so does everyone get in more accidents in Australia because everyone's driving on the wrong side of the road? And, and uh, yes, anyway, a little bit of suburb action here, but uh, we will check in with you later. Hey. So, oh my hat, we've done, uh, we did some pretty good shopping today. We've got uh, a lot of stuff accomplished so far. Miles got a haircut. Let's see, Bayers. Looking very nice. And we had kind of a relationship milestone, I'd say. We opened our first, well, I opened an Australian bank account, and then in addition, we also opened a joint bank account. We did. So, there's a relationship milestone. And I also found the store called Target in Australia. I think they used to have them in the States a while ago. It's kind of like, it's like a, like a Walmart type equivalent. So, I picked up probably some... Bit, probably more Old Navy. Yeah. Yeah, anything. Picked up some um, some knock around summer clothes, so I'm really excited about that because I didn't have many. <laughs> so, I think, and my, yeah, I think that's it. That's it, 35 degrees, wind blowing. Yeah. And she's doing well. Mm -hmm. We had a nice stop at a cafe. Melbourne's got a real cafe lifestyle where, um, yeah, lots of cafe. We stopped for a cup of iced coffee and that was lovely so now we're probably going to head back home and do some more organizing and i've got to get my tax file number yeah tax file number so that i can look for employment so we're going to do that today as well anyway productive day so far we just did the grocery store what have you got baby got some kangaroo mints and some kangaroo steaks kangaroo fillets there we go Doing a uh, late night late night shopping excursion. Oh, Sunny Boy. Where's my mom? Remember this brand, Sunny Boy? Maybe it's something different. This looks like something that tastes good. Anyway, um, yeah. Aussie uh, stores are a little bit different. They've got their eggs in the middle of the aisle instead of in the fridge. It's a little strange, but uh, you know, it's cool. Cool too. So we had a very um, very productive day. And um, we did a lot of sh not a lot of shopping. We got stuff. We got some clothes though, and some underwear. I systematically eliminated all my underwear just as I was leaving. It's kind of clever, but uh, it's been rectified. And, uh, we're just checking out. Let's check out the price of produce. See how expensive it is in Australia. Definitely. Sweet corn. Price of tomatoes. Let's look at those. Field grown tomatoes. $3.98 per kg. I have no idea whether that's good or not because I never uh, look at prices. I just buy stuff when I go to the grocery store. Which is why Miles will probably be doing the majority of the grocery shopping. Right, baby? Mm How -hmm. are you okay? No. <laughs> nice one. So we, uh, we're going to make sun dried tomatoes. Not, not right now but we're going to look up the process, and that's something I really wanted to do. And I figure we're in Australia, and we've got a lot of sun, so I think it's a good opportunity. But anyway, um, I think, uh, anything else? No. Anyway, it's been a really productive day. We watched um, a movie on Apple TV. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Apple TV. It's a really neat thing. It's kind of like Netflix, but it's a, an Apple appliance, so it was cool. Yeah. Anyway, we will head uh, back to shopping. I've got a. I finally own deodorant, which is cool. And yeah. Anyway, we'll talk to you later. Bye for now.